Welcome guys, this is Gorbole from Gmoitix Developers and today I'm gonna show you a complete tutorial on Recyclable. This tutorial contain all the uh, parts of Recyclable from uh, scroll listener, interface methods and everything. So let's start. First of all, uh, I'll create a new project. I will name this activity as home. So this playlist will contain all and every aspects of the recycling field. Okay. So first time when you uh, create a project, the Gradle file, you have to open this builder Gradle file. So you can see you have not imported the recycling view uh, and the uh, design. So we have to implement that. So we just copy this one and paste this. So you have to just replace the app compared with recycler view and everything will be okay. So seeing this project. Okay, so our activity home will contain our recycler view here. So recycler view, match parent and match parent. Let's give it an ID of recycler view. Well, uh, we need to import that view here. So while using recycling view, we have to uh, attach a layout manager. So we have uh, three types of layout manager. One is linear layout manager. The second one is grid layout manager and the third one is take art layout manager. So first of all, I will show you the linear layout manager that, that will contain a simple list like this one vertically. So what you have to do is recycler view dot set layout manager, new linear layout manager. And this uh, lin new linear layout manager will take a parameter as a context. So pass this. So we have to create an external adapter for this recycler view. So let's create that. Or recycler view must contain a view holder class. So our view holder class will be my view holder. You can name anything you want. And you have to extend that class with recycler view dot view holder. For this, you have to implement the constructor. Well, now you can extend this dot adapter. And my view holder. For this, you have to implement the three methods on create view holder, on bind view holder, and get item count. So, on create view holder, uh, this uh, inflates the uh, layout uh, file of this uh, adapter. You can set the layout file for each row. And on bind view holder, it binds the data to the layout file. And this get item count, it returns the number of rows. We also need to uh, implement a constructor. This constructor will hold two parameters. One is the context. The second is the list. For simplicity, we'll be uh, passing a string list. In the next upcoming, upcoming tutorial, I'll show you more complex list containing uh, custom objects. Now we have to make this equal.
well uh, now we can make the row the row for each recycler view items I'll just put a text here So this will be the sample row for each items. We need to give an ID. Let's give it TP. Okay. So in our my adapter class, we need to include this uh, row XML file, and we also need to uh, attach this uh, text view in our my class, my view holder class. So text view, and here we have to. In uh, find view ID well now we have to attach this XML file to uh, this row XML file to our my adapter class so here we have to create a view layout inflator from the context dot inflate r dot layout dot row and the second parameter is our view group that is parent now we need to return uh, our object of my view holder class so return new my view holder it takes uh, parameters as an view so this will be the view well now the last uh, now two more important thing is there so the first thing is you have to return the list size here and second you have to bind the data uh, in this unbind view holder class well uh, this uh, method actually binds the layout file to your adapter and this method uh, binds all the data for each row to your uh, uh, this xml file this method returns the number of data the number of actually rows yeah okay so our adapter class is completed actually this is a simple recycler view adapter now we can simply uh, use that So we have populated 50 data to our list now we need to initialize the adapter first is the context second is the list now we have to set the uh, adapter to the recycler view well everything is done we can run our application now what happened
okay the problem is here we have to pass parent dot get context and uh, here we have to pass the third parameter as false okay so let's run this well it's running you can see it got 50 daughters so for the first tutorial it's over i will post the second tutorial as very soon as possible